What is up YouTube? Today we're back with another video. Um, it's not gonna be a vlog, but it's, we're actually gonna be fixing the brakes on my car. Um, the left side caliper gave out, like the pin just broke, but um, I got the new part and uh, I already installed the uh, left side, but I'm gonna record the, um, the right side to, to uh, maybe help you, help you guys out if you ever need it. But um, I'll divide the video into uh, like, um, different steps so you can like see up to like a specific part if you need it but um we'll be going on how to install the um how to remove the caliper how to install the brake pads on the new one and the um oh what's it called there's like these little clips i forgot what they're called you can also install those and also the install how to install them and how to actually like um like bleed the air out of the brake system if you're working alone see i have no one to help me right now so i'm working by myself but um yeah, I'll show you guys how to make the, the tool to bleed it too, but um, it's gonna be a quick and easy video. Okay, so in the garage, we have the Del Sol right here. Um, looks like she's suffering, but um, not really. So this is the new one installed. Um, I did run into a few issues. Like for example, right here, um, the, the gap wasn't big enough for the, for the line to fit. So I'll show you guys how to work that out. But um, this one's installed, uh, clips are in, everything's in. Uh, I do not have um, my floor jack anymore, so uh, I'll be I'll be using this. I mean, it's same thing, just a little slower. But um, here is the old one. Um, it was broken right here. Let's see if I can. Yeah, see, it was like right there, which is not very good. I see all that. But yeah, it just gave out. When I found it, it was like open and like tilted on the side. It was horrible. But um, here's a new one though, and. Uh, this one looks good, but um, yeah. So these are all the materials you need. Um, we need you need new uh, brake fluid to top it off. Uh, if you're changing it, uh, that that'll probably do. But I'm not changing mine right now. I'll do that later. So you also need a set of different. Um, man, I'll forget what they're called. But yeah, these ones you probably need a 12 millimeter and a 17 millimeter. Uh, you'll need a torque wrench with a, with an adapter maybe to fit these. Uh, you also need a breaker bar, an extension would be nice, and uh, uh, I like to have multiple sizes of ratchets too, they help a lot, but um, yeah, these will do, and uh, this 10 millimeter wrench for the bleeder uh, valve. Also, a uh, knife, sandpaper, I'll show you guys, you, this is optional, you might not need this, but you might. And uh, these to uh, make this makeshift uh, bleeder tool, uh, so it's basically just a a bottle with um some vacuum line on there it fits perfectly onto the bleeder valve so that's why i'm using it uh you need the new brake calip the caliper and the new brake pads uh, also a uh, banjo bolt and copper washings and washers and also uh the um anti-rattle clips that go on the uh on the caliper and i use this to take off my wheel it's super easy but um you might not need that but yeah um so that should be all and let's get to it so here's the issue I was talking about earlier. Um, with this, this gap might be too small for the line to fit in properly. So what I did, um, make sure you have this on so you don't get any like metal shavings in here because that would be really bad. Um, so yeah, make sure it's closed as well. And uh, what you would do is you take this, like right here, for example, and you just rock back and forth like that. And um, Obviously, like, um, I'm holding my phone, so I cannot do it with both hands, but, uh, so yeah, like that, and like that, and like that, and, uh, and until you, like, sand this enough to where you can get the line through. So, um, here's our new caliper, and, um, you install the, uh, these clips that come with it. There's another type as well. Um, you install this, and I don't know, I had an extra one, but, uh, you install them in here in these little slots in the corners, so you can, uh, put in, put in your brake pads, so they, like, um, they don't rattle their anti-rattle clips or something like that so yeah um just put those in and make sure they're like snug and, and tight and um yeah but not too tight though but uh yeah that should be um that should be it for this part right now so after removing these the uh the lug nuts you uh simply have to take the wheel off and now that the wheel is off um we can access the caliper they got this one's good but um I decided to replace both of them at the same time because these are these are really old as well, so I don't want them to break on me. But um, yeah, just remove the calipers. There's a 13 millimeter bolt on the back. We'll need a breaker bar for that one, and um, get get something to set the uh, 
the caliper on top so you, you don't leave it hanging on this and put pressure on the on the brake line so once you have these two out what you want to do is leave the caliper in actually and um i already did off camera i forgot to record but you want to break it okay you want to um just like other way yeah just want to make sure that the uh banjo bolt is actually loose so um when the when it's um what's it called so now when the caliper is not attached anymore you um you, you won't have anything like there we go to like what's it called to secure it you know so you can freely uh, move the bolt it's gonna start leaking but um just get something up underneath there and uh you should be good so now that we have the old caliper out it's time to put the new one in i will change my discs very soon though i just do not have the money right now um yeah this was a very unexpected job big job i was actually planning to do this in a couple months once i get more money but um yeah we're really tight on that right now but um yeah we're gonna need the uh, bleeder tool uh you know some vacuum line worked really well and i just this uh this cup i got from a taco joint but um yeah just a vacuum line it should fit right perfectly on the bleeder valve and um yeah so let's install the new caliper and um i'll show you guys how to transfer this the uh the brake line onto the caliper itself and then how to bleed the air out of it so you can actually brake So now that the new caliper is almost ready, um, well, I mean, it's installed, but it's not ready yet. Uh, this is a really important step. I would, I bought a new one. So you need a new banjo bolt and um, um, copper washers. So you can actually fit those in here. Um, yeah, you need to take that cap off right now. So we can transfer this line onto here. And um, the way it goes is, uh, so this is the way it goes. It goes uh, the washer here, then the bolt, and the uh, this little loop thing closes on. It closes on this, and uh, then another washer on top, so it's nice and snug, and um, hopefully you don't get any leaks. So this is the best camera angle I could find. So um, yeah, don't mind that. But here is what we're going to be taking off, and we're going to be installing it onto here right here. So. Yeah, I got your gloves for this one because I hate getting um, stuff all over. So what you want to do is, um, with that, remember we already broke it loose, so it shouldn't be super tight. But for some reason, it's still, it's kind of, it's still kind of stubborn. So yeah, just get that on here. Oh, no way. There we go. And you want to make sure that this is above the the brake line so gravity doesn't take everything down with it and oh, for some reason this one's kind of not being very generous right now so I'm gonna set that down there and you definitely do want to have a rag in hand because this oil is going to make it extremely hard to work. So I'll drive back and get a red. And uh, I'll just keep getting this one. Right, it's getting very loose now. So that's the really good sign. And it's off. Okay, so now keep the caliper like this. Keep it with the hole up so you don't leak oil everywhere. Now take this off and uh, you see like the old washer is still there. So we're not gonna use any of that old stuff. We're gonna put in brand new washers, brand new banjo bolt. And uh, if I can pick this washer up, okay. And a new washer. So remember the sanding we did over there? Here's where it should pay off. And yep, it fits perfectly, nice and snug. So now we're gonna get our wrench and just bolt everything back in super slippery just because it's so oily but um 
Yeah, just make sure you have something underneath to catch all that oil. I think I don't think I do, but and yeah, this is size too big actually. So it's a 12 millimeter. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a 12 millimeter, not a 14. I was into 14 for something else. But here, so here we go. 12 millimeter. It's perfect. Now we're gonna make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. So now that our brake line, brake line is connected, we can get all this out the way. I'm definitely gonna throw that box away. Let's clean up a little bit. We wanna get oil all over the place. I say brake fluid, but yeah. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how to actually get this thing to be functional by uh, bleeding the, the system. But first I need to torque this to spec. So the manual says that it's um, 15 uh, foot pounds. So we're gonna get our torque wrench right here the adapter on here and take it down to right now it's at 80 because I already did the other side but um I just want to make sure we get it down to 15 all right and as you guys can see Right there, we are at, we'll barely see, but we're at 15 pounds right now. So that's what we're going to be using. So yeah, go up and... There we go, that's already at 15, so that's good. All right, now, um, let's get to bleeding it. We're going to take the bleeder cap off and take the bleeder cap off. Right, it's coming off um yeah take the bleeder cap off right here here it is save it for later we're gonna put it right here with the other stuff and uh this is the makeshift tool um so yeah the there's some oil already from the other side i know it's really murky so i gotta change that but i want that on this video that'll be for another video but um want to get this a uh, vacuum i used the vacuum mine it worked perfectly when i from oh shit from when i for when i did the uh the intake manifold when I swapped it um, I did have to get some extra vacuum mine so it came in really handy there's some leftovers I had so you want to take a 10 millimeter wrench and you want to put it on here and it's gonna open it up slow there we go so it's, it was already kind of loose but, but yeah so that should let enough in or out um, so yeah just put it this way should be good and now we got this and hopefully the bottle doesn't fall again. And just stick that right in there. And um, it fits perfectly. Um, unfortunately, this size, I don't know what's wrong with this. Okay, but anyway. So I'm gonna leave um, my, actually no, I sure you got something before. Before you do all that, you have to make sure that your brake fluid reservoir is topped off to the top. Um, and then I'm going to start pumping the gas pedal and every uh, uh, like uh, around five to eight pumps you need to make sure that the fluid is topped off so um make sure that you don't get the, this brake the brake fluid on anywhere because it's extremely corrosive and uh, it'll mess up rubber and everything but now that that's topped off um everything's closed um yeah let's get to pumping so I'll leave the, the camera right here and I'll start from the, the brake pedal and you guys will see the bubbles will stop coming out and then the bulbs will stop coming out. And when they stop coming out, it means that you're all ready to go. And uh, it's got to torque down everything, make sure everything's good. Put back the wheel and test the brakes. So I don't know what came, what happened on this side, but um, the brake fluid level came down on the reservoir, so now we'll top it off. So now that it's topped off, we can keep pumping and just keep pumping until no air holes come out.
right, so I don't think any bubbles are coming out. Um, uh, I'll see after I check this footage, but um, yeah, we should be good right now to just close it up. And um, we have to actually close it up from up here with this. So, because right now this is filled with fluid. There's no air in the system anymore. So we just close that up and uh, we'll test the brakes. So now we made sure that no air is coming out of there. We can finally close up this bleeder valve right here. Just make sure so it doesn't fall. And um, I just hand tighten this right now, for now. But yeah, make sure it's very nice. Uh, don't over tighten it though, because this can easily break. I don't want to shave anything. Um, but yeah, just make sure it's really nice and tight because you don't want any air getting back in. So now that it's tight, we can take um, wait, actually, I'll wait to take that off a bit. So you just. All right, it's nice and snug now. So we're going to take this off and let all the uh, brake fluid bleed down to here. And yeah, now I'll just look it around so anything dripping will fall in here. This is the uh, brake fluid we got out. And um, next, I'm going to torque down the, uh, the caliper. It's just 80 pounds on the manual, so 80 pounds is what we're going to do. Okay, so now we're going to get our torque wrench right here and switch out for the 17 millimeter. So now we're almost ready. We just need to switch out this and get to 80 foot pounds. All right, so we are at 80 right now. What you want to do first, however, though, is um, hand tie them. Make sure they're like, like nice and tight by hand, so that when you, it's you don't have to do that much work when you get the uh, the torque wrench. So the torque wrench is here. It's already at 80 foot pounds. One, two, and keep tightening down until you hit a click that's what we're looking for so this one's good nice and snug now this one want to be careful here because we're going right behind the brake line and uh yeah so go three oh and there we go nice and good so three two one pump and there we go so now that our brake calipers are Oh sh or torque down, we can put the wheel back on and test if the brakes are actually working. Okay, so now that everything is um, installed and back in place, the wheel is good, the car's on the ground now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, also the, uh, don't forget to close your, your brake fluid cap. Um, also, um, make sure you take this, put it in a container and take it to an auto parts store they can get rid of it pretty easily because if you put that in the trash, it's gonna get into the environment and and yeah, I mean my car already makes enough pollution for that, so I don't make any extra. But um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and close the hood and go for a little test drive around the neighborhood to test our brakes. So um, as I'm driving, I noticed that the brakes are actually really good. Um, they're really responsive too. So. Um, all for um all for today and um i'll uh make sure to upload the video on how to change the brake how to do the whole brake fluid thing um just flush it out put some new one in but um that's how we change your brakes and um consider subscribing if you like this video or uh if you know someone who has like brake troubles or something send it to your friend or whatever but thanks for watching guys and um i'll see you guys next time bye